Okay, Pete and Paul, Bill Video 21. Just a quick video here before I head to bed. It's been a long day in the shop here. Uh, cowling layup done. Yeah, I'm going to show you that in just a second and the wind covering is beginning. So before I show you the cowling, I just want to run over a couple of things. So this is fiberglass cloth. This is fiberglass glass mat. Build airplanes to learn different skills and different things. And there's actually a, a bit of difference between these two fiberglass materials and what they're used for. And this is epoxy resin and this is polyester resin and this is how they're to be compatible because some people say that the epoxy resin doesn't mate well with that so what am I going to use this for I'll show you here in just a second so um, it's been good this is good stuff uh, I used it before on um, probably a Ford plane on the RV2 as well um, good stuff from aircraft spruce sets up really well really strong big fan of that this is this good old Canadian tire stuff and haven't used it yet. I've used it before on different things, but not yet on the plane. So uh, as you can tell, wing covering is beginning. And here is the cowl in its final shape with all its markings. So this is three layers of six ounce um, cloth. And we've got it all kind of done up. And I've put a final layer of resin. So now it's to block sand it and fill in all the imperfections. But I got a, a good, I put a layer on today over top. This is just resin to fill in the voids because you butt joint all these. So the cloth comes here and you butt joint it. I kind of ran out a cloth, cloth near the end. And I make these lines and you butt joint all of these so it's not too much of a nightmare to sand. I've shown you this tunnel before. That's for the air intake to the carburetor. That needs to be finished off once the cowl comes off. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Happy with the shape and then I'm gonna block sand it, body fill the areas that need and then prime it and then cut it in half. And this is a little relief I had to put in because this is the alternator bracket that bulges out there. So I have to make that in there, but yeah, a lot of work. Three layers, um, pretty happy with it though. It's smooth, it's gonna look pretty good I think when it's done. So when this is all done, this is epoxy, this is the fiberglass cloth. And on the inside to reinforce some of the areas around the air intakes and around, especially around the, where's my finger here, right around there on the inside the cowl. We're going to rough it up, scuff it up and put in some fiberglass mat in there to strengthen it and to build it up. So if I'd gone with a, with a aluminum cowl like this guy, it would have been a lot quicker, a lot easier, but it's kind of angular and chunky and I didn't like it. And this again is the one that I was sort of modeling after. And yeah, so there we go. And I'll, I'll be working on the wing covering while I'm sanding and painting that too as well. And we'll get that stuff going here shortly, okay? And of course the, the ninja sits there waiting for next year. So anyways, okay, that's it for now.